Hey everyone's a Jackal Wolf back in Sky Factory 4 with another five minutes. Holy cow, what was that? That was an Enderman. <laughs> okay. Ah! <laughs> he is he is all over the place. Okay, he should be dead now. Hey everyone's Jackal Wolf back at Sky Factory 4 with another five minutes. That's how I did it. Now, if you've been following along, you know that we are not in my regular five minute world. Uh, this is my stream world where I kind of come in here to do some special projects that are above and beyond the advancement book. Uh, a couple of episodes ago, we created ourselves some automatic lava. We're now going to take that a little bit of a step further and we're going to upgrade that system uh, into one that is going to use a geothermal uh, generator. Now, now the automatic lava that we built uh, over there uses a dropper. Uh, in this case, we're going to upgrade that to a user. Now, the user is actually requires power. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a self-contained, self-powering unit that uh, once we get a little bit more of a power uh, system set up, we can have it feed directly into that. But for right now, we're just going to work on having it self-powered and go from there. Uh, first off, though, we're going to need to make ourselves some obsidian. Now, to make obsidian, we simply need some lava in a, uh, in a cauldron and a little bit of water, which we're going to add right here. And there we go. There is our piece of obsidian. Now, we're also going to need to make ourselves a magma block. Now, to make the magma block, we're going to need some blaze powder. To make blaze powder in Sky Factory 4, we simply need a crushing tub and a suitable a number of uh, nether rack. And just like before, we're just going to jump, 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 jump. And there we go. We got four pieces of blaze. We need to combine those four pieces of blaze with four slime balls. It doesn't matter what type of slime ball. It just has to be a slime ball. That gets us four pieces of magma cream, which we can go and turn into a magma block. Now we're going to take the piece of obsidian, put it into a crafting table with two other pieces of obsidian, the magma block and two pieces of gold and a dispenser. That is going to get us an automatic user. Now, what we want to do here is we want to place this feeding into this cauldron. So because this is up, this is a little bit difficult, but we're just going to right click there. And as long as we don't see the hole, so as long as that hole is pointed into that cauldron, this is perfect. Now, an automatic user will take any input item and use it with the area in front of it. So what we want to do is we now need to feed this full of cobblestone. So a simple thing to do is to make ourselves a cobblestone generator. Now a cobblestone generator is simply a bucket of lava, a bucket of water, a block of glass, and six pieces of cobblestone gets us a cobblestone generator. Now one thing I like to do is I like to place the cobblestone generator down and place a chest on top and this will automatically fill up and be a little bit of a buffer area. Uh, plus it's a good resource that you can run around and grab cobblestone wherever you need it. Now, uh, next up, we're gonna need a way to move the cobblestone from the cobblestone generator into the automatic user. And to do that, we're going to need a item extraction cable. Now to make an item extraction cable, it is simply a dropper, a weighted pressure plate and four iron nuggets. Now we're gonna take that item extraction cable, we're gonna come over over here and lining it up with the chest we're just going to right click on that it will now take the items out of the chest and put it into this dropper you can see it is slowly filling up as the chest is filling up behind it now our next step is going to be power this automatic user actually requires power so unlike the dropper which only required a redstone signal we're going to need an actual generator to power this up so the generator that i decided on is going to be the simple geothermal generator now that is because this runs on lava so this is how we're going to make this a self-powering unit so to make a simple geothermal generator we need a block of redstone two magma blocks one furnace one iron cauldron and four pieces of smooth stone so we're going to take that a simple geothermal generator we're going to come over here and place it on top of the automated user now the power from the simple geothermal generator will go into the automated user but we are of course going to need a way of getting the lava from the cauldron into the geothermal generator so to do that we're going to need to make ourselves a fluid extraction cable now similar to the item extraction cable a fluid extraction cable is a dropper four gold nuggets and one weighted pressure plate. Now we're going to take that 
out of our uh, crafting table. We're going to come over here and the simplest way of doing this one is just to place it on top and you can see it automatically curves and makes that connection into the simple geothermal generator. Now, last but not least, we're going to need to prime this with a little bit of lava. Now I could just grab a bucket of lava from somewhere in the world and feed it into the simple geothermal generator, or I could just take a piece of cobblestone, feed it into the uh, cauldron, and there you go. It is now feeding this simple geothermal generator over and over again. And now the automated user is using less power than what is generated by the uh, ge simple geothermal generator. So at a certain point, this is going to fill up and the simple geothermal generator is going to start building up a reserve. Now, at some point in the future, we can create ourselves a, a flux plug and feed that extra into a uh, you know wireless system around our world. But uh, that is going to be it for this one, guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please think about leaving a like and a subscribe. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Jackal Wolf. Uh, also, check out the description below. There's a link to my Discord page. I would love it if you stopped by to say hi. Uh, as well, I stream on a Saturday night's modded Minecraft as well as occasionally throughout the week. So keep an eye out for that on Twitch. Uh, I would also love it if you stopped by there as well. But that is it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.